y'all. I'm gonna do goblet squats again. Just because, just because they're, they feel like they're effective. I feel like the front loading is what I need. The back loading, like back squats, yeah, it's, it's gonna challenge my legs more. But the goblet squats, like I said, it's like a full body situation. All this is stabilizing. Of course, the the upper body strength is going to, in the stability, it's gonna be the limiting factor. But I get it, there's an upper limit. You're working out like pretty much upper body too. Not only that, and it's more front loaded, so you can get deep. Then I got the elevation to make it more challenging. So we got all that stuff going on. Anyways, I'm doing that today. I kind of wanted to do jump, uh, jump lunges. I just like to see what feels good and like what might be better. I haven't done these jump lunges in a while, so it kind of like it's a little awkward when I just tried it with 15 pounds. Let me get back. I'm kind of waiting for these these 10 pound dumbbells to free up, and then I feel like that'll be good. I kind of felt shaky with the 15s. I got like a few new pairs of shoes or whatever, and. Like the ones yesterday were like rubbing too much. I'm sending those back. These ones, I still gotta break in. So it's kind of like a little awkward. Hey y'all. All right, so that was my warm up. I'm gonna keep moving. I was trying to get to 10. I think I got like eight. I actually felt like I was about to fall backwards. I don't know why. My balance was a little bit off. Um, like I felt like I was like gonna fall backwards. <laughs> like at one point, that last, that last one, I wanted to go down, but I was like, nah, cause if I go down. So, all right, that's cool. I'm gonna try to get some more reps off the deal. What happens is, it does slow down, right? The reps start coming up slower and slower. So I gotta like take a take a break, reset. But honestly speaking, I feel like the pace I was going at was the most comfortable. You know, sitting down there with that weight, it is it is kind of it's not like heavy, but it's definitely a lot of tension. So I'm just kind of like down. Get to get to where I want to be at and back up. <sighs> Haven't done this in a while, so my endurance. I'm gonna take a quick little break and get back to it.
to be um, controlled, slow. I'm going to try two plates and see how that feels, if I can stay down there longer and go slower, or if, I, if I'm going to be able to do three again like I've been doing. So this is a warm up. three but what I plan to do possibly was like two to three seconds down pull for like one or two seconds and then back up <sighs> so I went up to three plates I'm just gonna try to go Slow, as slow as myself will allow me to, if that makes sense. I'm telling you, if you, it's hard to explain. Because when the weight gets on there, the slower you go, you're like zapping your, your strength, I feel like. And it's just slow and low weights go better together. And I think higher weights are like more power, fewer reps and things like that because you only usually can get a few reps out of heavy weight. That's what I'm saying, if that makes any sense. While I'm over here, I just wanted to do like a set where I'm just pushing, not just like everything super slow, just so I can like retain my strength. I may come back down and do another one at the three because the three feels manageable, moving slow. The two is even more, like it's almost like you have to go even more slow to make it work for you. You kind of tell the pacing. I can't even explain it that well, that's the thing. Slow tempo. Three and a quarter, four and then four and a quarter. The last time I did four and a quarter in, on the other machine, I think some of these machines are slightly different, honestly, because the one inside, even the belt is different. One, it connects, you know, like the, the little seat belt. <laughs> one, one of them is like facing the other way. That's another thing to get used to. But the feel, in the, on the one inside, it's like slightly different. So, it just feels a lot, it feels a lot better when I'm the one in gym three going my heaviest, I noticed. I don't remember what this one feels like when it's super, super heavy, but we gonna go with it. heavy but I did notice I feel like my feet were like 
like in a weird position. So I know you guys are probably like, she does this all the time. How does she forget what her, I don't know. It just be like, sometimes it just don't be adding up right. I'm gonna try to bring my butt down as far as possible because I think that's what happens. I don't get as much leverage. I didn't feel like I had as much leverage. So I feel, cause I feel like my butt was a little bit more up on the pad. One thing that helped me the other day, actually, that I didn't tell you guys about, was like, it's like really mental too. But you can lift the weight, you know, but that mental aspect is like that, that cherry on top because like literally before a set, like one of the heavier sets on glue, glue drive the last time, I was like, you know what, whatever, don't overthink it, just just do it. Just like lift off and just go do it. Like, like that's all I had to say, like that's what I was saying. And so I was like, and then that was actually a pretty good set. It wasn't like, but sometimes I like psych myself out and be like, oh my gosh, it's gonna be heavy or oh my gosh, you know, like, I mean, I don't be saying it out loud, but that's what it'd be in my head. But like literally I was like, I don't care, whatever. If, whether it's heavy, light, whatever, I'm just gonna have to do it. You know? The only thing with this area, I can, it's hard to find weight sometimes. It's like jammed in here. Let me find a little song. All right, I think that was a pretty good boot drive uh, session because with that being the third exercise, I'm telling you, it, the, the order matters. It really does, <laughs> it really does. I mean, but getting up, I really haven't broken past four plates and a 25. I've done four plates and a 35 fresh. Like I think like uh, probably the second exercise. Um, I've always put hip thrust in go drive second. I have never done five plates. Oh, so, sorry, I didn't hear my headphones on. No, 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 I'm actually packing up. Okay. Yeah, so I do you think? No, you're good, you're good. All right, y'all, this is what I got going on. At least 45s, I'm gonna do some reverse lunges, and then I got this, this 80 straight bar for some RDLs. That'll be good. I did those little jump, jump lunges. I mean, those did burn. I'm not gonna lie, like that super set action, but I just want to make sure I get that, tap into that single leg stuff. And uh, that'll be it. I got to get out of here. <laughs> you know. All Step back lunges, these lunges. And I feel like as it gets heavier, more beneficial to lean forward for your glutes on lunges. So what I'm doing is attempting to lean forward because you know you can do lunges where you're kind of like holding the weights of your side and you're like straight down kind of. And I'm like more leaned over. But the thing is when I lean over, it's like the, the weight also pulling me forward, so it almost looks like I'm going like this. So I'm just trying to be cautious of that.
foot seems to stay like stable. This one kind of either wants to like come up a little bit or, you know, I feel like it's kind of going out to the side with my RDL. That if I don't watch it, it's gonna affect how it works the muscles 